good morning welcome to sparkle with jyoti how are you all doing first of all let me wish you a very happy easter so today is 12th of april it's a saturday and um, easter weekend is there so i thought why not to shoot a video and show you what we do there is no special plan as such so i've not planned anything i'm going to go like as it is and how the day unfolds let's see so i'm i'm just woken up around half an hour back i did my morning chores like brushing my teeth and all and i had my a cup of tea and now i'm going to about about to make my breakfast and uh, then let's see uh, what what happens and uh, thank you so much guys for my uh, yesterday's video response the response was amazing you guys have given so nice and heartwarming comments thank you so much that was just my personal thoughts and i will keep updating you time to time as i get new information and as uh, the days pass i will keep updating you the situation in sweden what's going on and uh, yeah i have a slight cold i don't know why it's so scary these days even if you get a little bit cold you get so worried uh, and if your voice like little bit of voice is changed today i don't know why so i uh, maybe i ate something yesterday cold so yeah <laughs> that might be the reason so yeah thank you so much guys for the response and uh, keep watching the videos and uh, let's go ahead and see what happens in these two days that definitely is going to be cooking so stay tuned for some easy to make you know awesome recipes and uh, let's begin this video hey guys so i just spent like around 1 1 and a half hour to clean up the house and a little bit of organizing so i had some uh, bed sheets to be changed and uh, put for washing and i wanted to change the uh, like i have two beds one is single bed one is double bed so i want to change that anyways i'm going to share a house to it pretty soon so stay tuned for that and right now i'm just editing a video which is a one of a kind first time video which uh, my husband has initiated and uh, it is all about me and my daughter spending time together and i wanted to have some kind of a positivity in these kind of in these tough times so also this is kind of a memory for me and for my uh, family to cherish later on so it it really feels nice you know when after few years when you go back and reflect and see the previous older videos it is so nice and you can see how you have grown and how you have uh, changed actually so i really wanted to cherish so we have done a musical video so i will share i'm sharing it right now so just posting it on youtube that's what is going on now and once this is done i'm going to go and start cooking because it's almost 11 o'clock and uh, once I, well, if i start now uh, by 12 12:30 my lunch will be ready and we can then have a uh, together lunch and then we can relax a bit so yeah that's what uh, is going on so yeah let's go ahead and see what else is going on so guys uh, i've start i started making lunch and then i realized that the uh, past few days we have been eating so much heavy stuff so wanted to kind of a give give a break to the tummies <laughs> in the afternoon anyways i'm making something heavy and nice and uh, fancy in the evening and planning my chinese menu so hopefully that works out i've never made chinese but i'm going to try it so i'm planning to make like veg uh, manchurian along with fried rice so let's hope it turns out good so i thought uh, I, i i have a simple recipe like it's a maharashtrian recipe which is very easy to make and extremely healthy and uh, so that that is what we are going to do now i have some dal uh, tur dal with me uh, from yesterday night so i'm going to uh, quickly make something with that and with the atta which is my wheat flour okay so uh, as you have seen me last video how i prepare my uh, atta so this is my uh, food processor which i use the one which i told you about obh nordica so i have just taken in this uh, wheat flour i have added some salt and i have layered at the uh, like at the bottom i have put some oil so that it does not uh, you know stick and while mixing it mixes very easily and doesn't stick to the processor at the bottom right so i am going to make my uh, atta now so i wanted to show it show to you like how do i do it and this is how i put my food processor and then i have taken a glass of water as well so add my water and don't add the water in one go just add it uh, little by little how you feel like you know jaise aapko lagta hai us hisab se in smaller quantities you add not add the entire glass at a point okay so let's begin <laughs> before finishing off i also like to add some oil so that you know helps uh, 
in proper binding and it gives a very nice uh, smooth binding okay so you can add maybe three to four uh, tablespoons or, or teaspoons uh, as per your uh, liking done now and at the end i like to go with my hands and bind it so i'll just show you so i i use this ball this is an airtight one so i just uh, take some oil on my hands on my fingers and it makes it easy to remove the dough and it doesn't stick to your uh, hands okay so i have taken as you can see because i have put oil at the bottom you can hardly see anything sticking at the bottom right so it saves us a lot of uh, flour and then i like to just take oil on my fingers as well as on the dough and I like to nicely give it a mix okay so that it is nicely uh, you know got mixed and I just give it a nice you know push or usko achhe se so it becomes nice and soft for our perfect rotis okay this is how i make my bat my uh, batter and i save it like this dough i i put it like almost two to three days but uh, since these holidays are going on and i know that my husband will will not go to office soon so i have taken a lesser quantity but still my roti to hamesha banati hu, like every day almost so this is how I do my So yeah, this is how I do my atta. So I am going to show you the recipe, very easy recipe. It's not even a recipe. It's very simple, uh, like go to uh, easy uh, food. So let's get started with that, okay? So guys, uh, iske liye job ko chahiye. it's not much ingredient. So it, you just need a dal, cooked dal, whichever you prefer, tori or moh ki dal. You need uh, jeera, rai, mustard seeds, jeera. You need uh, turmeric. You need... Uh, Masala, any kind of masala which you prefer and a little bit of uh, garlic, okay? So, I have the tail and then I am going to add my uh, jeera and uh, mustard, okay? Like so and then when it, when it starts crackling, then I am going to add some uh, hing, okay? So, I am using your... Uh, one devi hing which I've got from India while coming. So and while it is getting ready, I'm going to take uh, my uh, atta, which is my wheat atta. Uska, take in one big size bowl and then I'm going to make uh, a roti. Okay. And uh, then I will cut it in a square, square shapes, okay? So I'm going to make... So I have made these kind of shapes, okay? So now our oil is heated. I'm going to add my hing. And then I'm going to add my garlic. Nicely fry, fry it, okay? very easy but very healthy recipe even my daughter loves it and so uh, you know it is uh, very quick and easy so I make it like whenever I have like dal uh, left over and I think in Maharashtra different states have different uh, names for this particular recipe like in Nagpur and Amrauti side they call it Vandati Fada so you can also make you know cute, cute shapes out of it so you can make maybe moon or you can make like uh, you know you can take like this and you can just roll it off and you can call it some name or you can make it like a circle so it gives like a quite fancy thing you know to kids and they they feel nice you know so this kind of shapes you can make and uh, now once your garlic is slightly brown you can add your other spices whichever you want to add but uh, my daughter is going to also eat some. I'm going to add more spices. I'm adding some turmeric. I'm adding some lal mirch. Okay. So I do not want to make it more spicy. So I'm adding just half a teaspoon. That's it. And then once it is nicely fried. So you 
can add your dal at this point, okay? So add your dal. And at this point you can add more water because your uh, roti, your shapes are going to actually cook in this particular water. So try to add more of it. Because it gets uh, uh, thick, you know, once I add these ingredients. And then I'm going to just drop in my square shapes, circle shapes, whatever shapes you want to call it and make. I'm just going to add that. Or it just says make cocoa. So as you can see, you know, I'm just adding all these shapes. So it's a very healthy recipe uh, guys and very easy you hardly need anything so i'm going to add two rotis total in this because i think this quantity you know requires this quantity of dal requires two full rotis uh, shapes so yeah this is the way it's going to look and when once it gets cooked and dry it's going to be like you know more thick kind of gravy i'm also going to add my salt at this point i have a little bit salt already so i'm going to add a little bit of it so yeah like so and that's it guys i'm going to add one more roti and our recipe will be ready and I started my preparation for dinner and uh, as decided I am preparing veg manchuri along with veg fried rice as well so these are the basic ingredients so what I have I am following this recipe from cooking shooking and it looks quite simple so uh, I am trying to make this uh, balls now for our uh, veg manchuri and I am going to prepare the gravy as well so I have taken like one, one carrot I have taken some cabbage like almost one fourth of the cabbage. I have taken half of onion and I have taken also one capsicum and then I added the ginger garlic paste which I prepared freshly in the mixer grinder and I have also added a little bit of uh, uh, lal milch that is optional you, you can or cannot add. You can also add pepper but since my daughter is also going to have it I didn't add that because it might be spicy and then I have added a uh, little bit of salt according to taste and then I have, I'm for binding, I'm using corn flour as, a, as well as maida. So I've taken three to four tablespoons of uh, both, okay. And now uh, it is nicely, the binding is coming off very nice. So as you can see, it is quite colorful. And now I'm preparing these balls and then I'll move ahead with the gravy, okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and see how it turns out. Hey guys, so I've just done frying the first lot. And it's looking so yummy. It's crispy. It's the perfect color and the perfect taste. I just tasted a little bit and it's really amazing. So yeah, our first attempt is uh, successful. And uh, moving on, I am going to make the gravy as well. So yeah, once I'm done frying this, I'm going to make the gravy. I've kept the ingredients all ready. So yeah. <laughs> so guys, dinner is completely ready. I have my fried rice here and uh, it's easily it is not like completely uh, you know uh, separated uh, but yeah the taste is really good and our uh, veg manchurian with gravy is also done and uh, let me tell you I just wanted to tell you that um, in Sweden you get this something called as more there uh, with small small means uh, uh, butter and uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, doesn't depend on any brand. You can buy any brand. This is available in the frozen section of Willie's and Shop or Eka or these kind of stores. And what you need to do is basically it has these kind of sheets. Which we eat in India, you know, you know, uh, so these are the sheets. 
सो यू कैन जस्ट फोल्ड इट एंड किप वट एवर इन साइड लाइक पटेटो सब्जी और लाइक आई हैव मेड फॉर माई डॉट राइट नाउ दिस इज आई हैव एडेड जैम सो इट बिकम्स लाइक अ वेज पाफ और यू नो दिस काइंड ऑफ पफ आइटम्स एंड यू जस्ट पुट इन द ओवन एंड आई मेक इट लाइक आई कीप इट ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स दैट्स इट एंड आई कीप इट इन द सेटिंग ऑफ टू हंड्रेड टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एट या अराउंड फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एंड दैट्स इट एंड इट बिकम्स सो क्रिस्पी एंड सो नाइस इट इज अ परफेक्ट स्नैक एंड वॉट वी हैव डूइंग दीज डेज सो गाइज दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे आई होप यू लव दिस वीडियो इफ यू लव दिट प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब कमेंट एंड शेयर एंड एल सी इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेल दिन से पॉजिटिव एंड स्टे हैप्पी बाय टेक केयर Thank you.